Well, well, well. What have we got here? The Arthos. Full Tang Survival Knife by Arthos Knives. This guy, 8.6 inches, 4 inch blade. Full Tang, G10 grips. Uh, it's here to take a beating. And it, it's the survivor's best friend, it's the prepper's best friend. With a nice thick blade like this, it's the bushcrafter's best friend. And I want to put this thing through, through some field testing and see what it can handle. All right, we'll get a closer look at it. Still to come. Don't forget to subscribe and like below. And uh, let's take a look at the Arthos. So let's get a look up close and personal at the Arthos. Let's have a look at this guy. There are a lot of parts and pieces here that didn't get a lot of showcased, you know, out there and in the beginning of the video because they, uh, well, you know, they just didn't. They were hidden. They were well hidden and well constructed. The Arthos comes with this, comes in this really cool bag, by the way. It makes you feel like you're opening something from another time. It comes obviously with the blade that we've seen, but it also comes with this great Kydex holster. All right, this guy's made in America, hooks right on your belt. Uh, larger belts, you may have an issue. This looks like we've got about a, I don't know, I guess probably about a inch and a half, inch and a quarter, something like that. But as you can see, it will lock down completely. So if you don't fit through there, you may have some trouble. With this Kydex case, my belts fit fine. Uh, quality holster here it's not going anywhere i've used it plenty yanked on it yanked this knife in and out of it yanked this steel in and out of it so let's talk about that steel for a moment but anyway this is a great piece this is a great piece so let me let me talk about that before we get to the steel because this is important having your survival blade on your hip at all times is going to allow you to use it much more often. Mark my words on that. You're gonna use this thing much more often. You're gonna take advantage of the resources around you because you have this thing right at arm's length. That's the reality. If you have a survival knife right now and it's buried in a bag, or even if it's pretty easy to get to in a bag, that bag's on your back. That bag's on your back. It's gonna take extra expenditure of energy to grab it. And a lot of people are gonna say, forget it. But one thing I like about foraging in the woods is stopping along the way and collecting materials. I think it's a very important piece of the experience, right? Collecting wild foods, collecting materials for tinder, collecting uh, other items to make cordage, that type of thing. This guy right here on your hip is going to make that difference. The holster, I love it. This little ditty right here is called the all spark the all spark fire steel and this guy comes along with it fits nice and snug i'm talking snug right in here you know this thing there's no way this thing's gonna fall out this thing would have to you would literally have to fall down a hill and jam this guy out of here what i like about this is this thinner than i like for a ferro rod a little bit it's 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 usable you know it's not obviously you can see we've ran it a couple times just to see what it's got it's very effective but for me this this is something that has to do with redundancy which is a big issue and a big deal with preppers right survivalists bushcrafters we want some redundancy in our pack when it comes to fire i want a lot of redundancy all right, so the All Sparks Ferrocerium Rod, they call it the All Sparks Fire Steel. Uh, and it is original Aura Metal, a ferro rod. It's about three inches total. 2.2 uh, .2 of those inches are usable. Machined here. It's got the same G10 uh, little handle there, which I really like. I like the feel of this G10 stuff. You know, this is, this is a layered product, you can see. 
And the way they get these cool designs is by sanding, I guess, this product. That G10 is some cool stuff. Uh, I've seen it before. You've probably seen it before, too, on gun grips. So the G10 grip, very cool on the blade. But we'll talk about the blade in detail in a second. I wanted to show you sort of the parts and pieces. Uh, this guy, I don't know. This guy might catch this thing on fire. I'm not sure. But let's have a look. I like to take this guy and really dig it in. As you can see, I use this little, this little beveled edge or whatever it is there the teeth and uh you know it it works it works well probably gonna work better on this side and that so for those of you who don't know you know a lot of people they have this tendency to do this number and just a quick tip you're blowing air at your ember and at your fire you might as well be you might as well be blowing it out so big strong knife nice thick spine anchored Dig that guy up, and that's how you get sparks. And this guy puts out a great amount of sparks. The All Spark Fire Steel uh, sold separately, but again, well worth the money. Comes right, fits right into the case, just like that. Beautiful little combination for your side. So those are the parts and pieces that come along with it. Now let's talk about the blade itself, because when this blade was designed, it was specifically made for not just cutting, but handling, right? So this blade was designed for handling. And when you look at the handle and you see the curvature of the handle and you start to understand that this thing was designed to be held, it was designed to be choked up on and to protect the finger from rubbing directly on metal. You know, if you can see that design right there, this right here is one of my favorite parts on the knife. You know, I can get fingers up there I could work with this knife for a long time, you know? I can work with it for a long time and I've got this nice smooth Kydex that is gonna take care of my fingers if I don't have gloves. Did I say Kydex? I meant G10. This nice smooth G10 that's gonna take care of my fingers and make sure that they're uh, comfortable. This knife to me is has a lot to do with the blade as well. When I'm looking for a survival knife, a bushcraft knife, I want something a little wider than my palm. I might be able to see it better that way. A little wider than the palm. Uh, sorry, a little longer than the palm. And about as wide a blade as I can get. I want that width. And then of course I want that 90 degree spine for doing you know, what we do with our, with our ferro rods. I don't want to waste my blade on a ferro rod. I don't want to do that. So I want that nice 90 degree spine, even sharper than this, but this guy again has this, this rigid side to the knife, so that works fine. We've got a place here to, uh, it comes with this cord. I'm sure if we wanted to, we could do some kind of knot here. I didn't see that it, that was necessary personally because it's right on my hip at all times. Uh, we've got a, you know, we've got the hammer edge here if we want to use it for that. And again, we're looking at a knife. These knives are made in China, finished in America, right? So I'm guessing they get just the metal itself uh, punched out in China, cheaper, you know the deal. That's the reality of it. Uh, and it's finished here in America. So the G10 is made here in America, the grips, all of that's applied. The, uh, the fire steel itself is made in Austria, finished in America, the Kydex sheath made in America as well. So what is this Arthos all about? Okay, what are we dealing with here? Now that we've had some time to play with it, now that we've had some time to play with the steel. Steel's never coming out. <laughs> steel's never coming out of your pocket, I can tell you that right now. So, we played with this guy. I threw it around. I used it to chop wood. I used it to, to peel bark. I used it to start fire. The AllSpark was great, tremendous. All right, I was very impressed with that. I did some work on that thing, if you can see. That guy got some work. Uh, I just wanted to get into it and see what it was really capable of. It, take, it took its toll on the knife a little. That's just stuff that you can clean off, though. What I will say is the G10 handles got a little loose. Now, I'll say I, I put this thing through some rigor, but they're a little loose. I'm going to have to tighten them up. I, it's, it's hard to really show you. But they are just a hair loose all of a sudden. That could have been from the whacking and the beating. I use this thing the way you, you probably won't 
you know, hopefully you won't. But maybe you will. And you know what? If you buy a survival knife, you should be prepared to put it through the ringer. So I look at this knife no different, right? It needs to be able to stand up to what I want to do to it, right? That's what we want. So three things about the Arthos that stick out right away. Number one, thickness of the blade, right? I saw this thing on Amazon before I knew anything about the company. And what I loved about it was that thick blade. That's what drove me. That's what said, you know what? This could be a knife. The handles are beautiful. This could be the knife. Another thing, the handles, right? The G10 handles, this knife was designed, this knife was mocked up for the purpose of handling, right? Cutting, but also handling. And uh, they hit the nail on the head, guys. All right, the G10 handle, they hit the nail on the head. The ergonomics in the handle, it's a beautiful thing to handle. It really is. It's an easy knife to handle. You're not gonna get much fatigue. You're gonna get a lot of protection. And, uh, you know, congratulations, Mr. Yates. You guys hit the nail on the head with these handles. Third and final piece has nothing to do with the knife at all. Well, I mean, it does, but it's not on the knife itself. It's this Kydex holster. It's this holster and its ability to keep a ferro rod right on your person, right next to your knife. It's the ability of this thing to clip onto your belt and go, at, go any place you want it to. And it's also the fact that I get to take this great knife and I get to carry it with me wherever, right on my hip. And like I said before, that's going to put you in a position to use this thing more readily and more often for more reasons. And, and that's why you have a knife on your purse, right? If you like the looks of this Arthos, if you like the looks of this holster, if you like the Allspark, there's an affiliate link below. Check it out, click that link. A percentage of the profits of that purchase are gonna to go to support this channel. So if you like what we do, you like the survival videos, you like the products on emergency preparedness that are being reviewed here, please click the affiliate link and uh, help support the channel. We wanna bring you the best, the newest, the unknown survival gear, emergency preparedness gear that can keep you and your family safe in disaster. That's the basics here, all right? Don't forget to subscribe and like, click that bell, and that'll let you know James Walton is over at SHTF Preparedness, and he's reviewing gear. And you'll know what I'm reviewing, when I'm reviewing it, and you'll be able to watch that video immediately. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you next time.